Hey guys, thank you for tuning in TechyNets. So on today's video, I am going to show you how to install Linux Ubuntu operating system in a VM which is installed in your Windows 10. So the VM solution that I am going to uh, select today is VMware Workstation Player free version. Some of you have asked me to create a video on how to install Ubuntu on a dual boot method. So that video I would be dropping uh, later this month. As of now, I will show you how to install it in a VM alone. Before that, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe, click on the bell icon, like, share and comment. Let's go into the video. To do this, uh, we need two things. One is VMware Workstation Player software and other one is Ubuntu operating system. I'm going to my browser. First, I'm gonna download VMware Workstation Player free version. You can download it from the VMware website. So you can download it either for Windows or Linux. So here I'm going to download it for Windows. I have already installed it. So in case if you don't have the software, you can go to this website and download it. And second, we need Ubuntu operating system in a ISO format. So I'm going to Ubuntu official website. So Ubuntu is built up based upon Linux. It is an open source software. So you do need not pay for any license or you need not open any account. You can just go to the official website and download it. So I'm going through Ubuntu desktop. So here if you can see there are two versions of Ubuntu. One is Ubuntu 20.04 another one is Ubuntu 21.04. So 20.04 was released in 2020 April month. So that is what the numbers denote and 2104 was released on 21st year 2021 April month. Here you can see something known as LTS. LTS is nothing but long term support. So for this version Ubuntu will provide you support for till 2025 April. So it will send you free security maintenance updates and everything. However, for this version, you won't get that long term support. The minimum support comes with 9 months until January 2022. I always recommend you to go with the long term support. So now we are going to download the long term support. I have already installed VMware Workstation Player. So let me quickly open it. So as I said this is a free version. In pro version you will be having more features. Here I have to select create a new virtual machine. And now you got to select the installer disk. So we have downloaded Ubuntu ISO file from the Ubuntu official website. Select the ISO file. Select open. The system will automatically detect the version and the architecture of the OS. Click on next. Here you have to give a name for your operating system. So I'm just going to give Ubuntu. On next so a username must consist only a lower case so I'm just replacing it so you can give a virtual machine name so I will leave it as it is Ubuntu 64 bit and you can give a location where your virtual machine should be saved and then click on next you can assign a space for your virtual machine so I would suggest you keep it around 25 for Linux. So here you can select two options. One is store your virtual disk as a single file. Split virtual disk into multiple files. So selecting the second option will allow you to move your virtual machine from one laptop to another laptop. So if you don't move the virtual machine from one laptop to another laptop, you can select the first option. 
so I'm not going to move this virtual machine so I'm going with the first option next and this will give you an overview so name location version operating system hard disk space and the memory allocated network adapter so network adapter will use uh, will allow you to use internet even in your VM and other devices everything is uh, selected in case if you want to customize you can select the customize hardware option so you can customize your RAM your space processors network adapters USB controllers sound card printer display everything so all these uh, hardware adopters will be detected in your virtual machine as well on close and finish so now the VM enters into the setup process the operating system is loading just checking the disks do not interrupt during the setup process do not close the application or uh, do not shut down the machine while the setup is ongoing it might corrupt the operating system so please wait until the setup process is completed and it's also recommended to keep your laptop on power while doing this now it's trying to install and configure the operating system so this is a standalone configuring OS so most of the things the OS would do on its own manual intervention would be very less while installing it and Ubuntu is also very reliable and efficient uh, Linux distribution as you see in the screen uh, there is a app store in Ubuntu where you can go and install the basic application that is required for your OS so it just works like a Microsoft store the UI looks cool the color of the UI is a magenta based UI so rhythm box music player as you see it's the included software with the Ubuntu and you can also install Spotify VLC from the software store these are some features so the in installed uh, soft photo manager tool is shot well and you can also use uh, GIMP image editor and shot cut video editor in Ubuntu all these are open source and free of cost you don't need to pay any license Firefox and Thunderbird pre-installed in case if you want you can install chromium browser and what we have here uh, we will get uh, LibreOffice writer calc impress just works like uh, Microsoft Office and also it is a free software it comes along with Ubuntu you need not install it separately so these are some customization options available so these are the help and support you can go to the ask Ubuntu for any questions related to your Ubuntu operating system it is a user-friendly operating system anyone who haven't used Linux before can easily use Ubuntu so based upon your system performance this would take some time so in my system as of now it almost took 30 minutes however I have reduced the time frame in the video so based upon your system performance and uh, the hardware it might uh, take from 30 minutes to 1 hour if you have a supercomputer yeah it could be done within minutes we are at the end I guess the setup process is done so VMware is starting again I guess it's almost installed we are seeing the welcome screen We're using the password that we set before to log in And here is the Ubuntu operating system so it is asking us to 
uh, do a sign on so as of now we can skip it and it is asking if we need to set up a live patch select next so as of now I will leave it leave all the options as it is so location services I will keep it disabled and we are ready to go so guys that's it this is how we can install Ubuntu this is the desktop screen of Ubuntu on all the applications you can see here this will show all the applications here you can go settings and Wi-Fi connections Bluetooth everything is available here appearance you can say dark mode standard mode so I will drop in a, another video explaining all the features in Ubuntu so for now if you have any doubts in installing Ubuntu operating system in your VM please do let me know in the comment section I will help you as much as I can thank you for tuning in my channel guys and I hope you all enjoyed it until next video, it's bye from Techinets.